there you are, YouTube. Do 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 subscribe if you're interested. I know I said in the previous video that I was going to drop a review for John Wick Chapter 4, but that's not happening. It'll probably come out on Friday. But anyway, instead of that, what we're doing today is another random ranking. We're going to go to my movie collection behind me and pick out three movies at random and then rank those movies based on whatever criteria we come up with based on those films. I'll rank them here in the video, and if you'd like to rank them in the Com I almost said the collection below. In the comments below, please feel free to do so. Let's get to picking some movies. Um, where do I want to go? I, uh, I just need, I need to rearrange everything over here. You know what? This is probably fine. Ooh, is that a snapper? Ooh, no, that's not a snapper. That was a, um, a slip. Not a snapper, but a slip. Not a snapper, but a slip. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Wait, why is this over here? Okay. So this should not be my collection because I haven't seen it yet. This is Burlesque with Cher. Who else? Is that Christina Aguilera? Yeah, I haven't seen this movie. So we got to pick something else. And it looks like we're picking. What do we got here? Did I just do this one? Maybe not. Okay. Wow, one of these I have not seen in so long. And I gotta make sure I know what, what I'm talking about here. Okay, so the first one is Sam Raimi's Dragged Me to Hell. I remember this sort of came out like after or during the Spider-Man stuff. Was it like between Spider-Man 2 and 3 or was it after Spider-Man 3? I can't remember. I'm sure if I were to just look at the year on the back, but sometimes that takes me a long time to find. So, um... I'm going to say after, but I, I, so I don't know. Sam Raimi's style is so unique and it's, it's that way in this, like I, there are moments when you think you're going in watching like a serious horror film, but other times it's very silly. Hey, sorry for the yawn. Sorry for the yawn. And it all sort of blends together. And um, I feel like you can, you can, you're, you're watching it and you're having like this serious time and then you watch it and then that dude's like dancing around like a goat or something like that on that table or above the table. I can't remember. And you're kind of like, this is kind of funny. Um, so yeah, you know, his, his style is just so unique and I don't even know how to describe it. I guess that makes him an auteur, right? Like he's, he's, he just has his own vision, unique vision, especially in, in horror. Next we have Wolf Creek. Let me make sure this is what I think it is. Um, now this, okay, Australia. Yeah, this is an Australian film and this copy actually has a scratch on it, so I haven't been able to watch this movie in years. Because there's this tiny, actually it's not that tiny, but there's a scratch on it right here. I can't remember how that happened, because that's not typical of me. Although, uh, uh, maybe, what did I get this used? Maybe I got it used, that's probably what happened. I had a buddy who worked at a pawn shop, and he'd get me like, I'd get stacks and stacks and stacks of movies each one maybe a nickel or a quarter. I mean, I think I got, got them for like a nickel or eight cents down that low. And it was just like so good. It was so good. Uh, great time. Loved that. But yeah, it's been so long since I've watched this. I think um, I was expecting some of the acting moments to be a little bit better, but they weren't. There's like this tough guy in it and he's cool and all but I feel like he also isn't because he's not acted very well he's like made out he's like a little over the top with how hard and how like tough uh you know uh what 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 why can't I think <laughs> it's like Crocodile Dundee or something he's supposed to be and it just doesn't quite fully work for me. I hope I'm thinking of the right movie because I feel like I don't see a single picture of him on here. But, um, or am I, wait, am I mixing that up? Okay, no, I'm thinking of some alien movie, I think. Is there like a tough 
Australian guy in this, or am I thinking of some movie with like an alien? Australian, Australian movie with like a, a tough guy and aliens. I don't know, should I replace this? Because it's been so long. Like, I probably haven't seen this since 2000... Um, when did I probably watch this last? Six, maybe? I don't know. I'm just going to replace it, and I'm going to replace it with this. I'm sorry for those, but I, I think I'm mistaking that movie with a, an alien, Australian alien movie. So instead, we have Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> Quite the difference. Uh, Illinois. I'm from Illinois. Uh, John Hughes. Um, you know, he, he, his, his work usually takes place in Illinois, so that's what's going on here. Uh, Ferris Bueller, I like it, but it also wasn't, like, huge for me. It was my aunt, but for some reason, like, this one wasn't one in, like, constant rotation. Um, but, like, as I was growing up, meeting more and more people, this was, like, a huge movie for them. But it just didn't quite have that same impact on on, on the people in my house. So uh, it's 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 one I know, but not one that I know inside and out. So you know, I like it though. I think it's good. Uh, next we have Daredevil. I feel like I ranked this one recently. I'm guessing I got this one from a pawn shop. Maybe no. I think I just bought this one actually back in the day. This is hefty. A lot of stuff in here. We got two discs. We got this heavy little thing here. Um, a giant booklet here. All sorts of information. Probably about Kevin Smith and how he's like a weapons specialist, forensic weapons specialist or something like that. Um, but here, here's the standout. Mark, Michael Clark Duncan's so good in this. I, I think he, um, I like had they kept making these, because he, I believe he survived, right? And he just like went to prison or something, broke broke his legs, and and uh, Ben Affleck's like I can hear I can hear the sirens, um, but I think he was a, a great kingpin. Um, I don't know a lot about kingpin, so maybe he didn't you know match the character uh, at you know like um, like I, I guess I only know kingpin from. Um, the animated series, right? Because I, I don't like read comics or anything, but I feel like their personalities seemed similar, but maybe it wasn't an exact match. But I haven't heard much complaining about Michael Clark Duncan as Kingpin, so maybe he did a good, maybe it's universally thought he did a good job. Uh, you got Elektra here. I think I watched part of the Elektra movie. I remember somebody with tattoos that came to life or something like that. Also, uh, Colin Farrell, right there, is Bullseye. Isn't that his name? Um, he was nominated for an Oscar for Banshees of Inishirin. Um But yeah, he was pretty cool in this too. So, but I don't know. It's not like I love the movie or anything. There are parts of it that I think are really cool. But, I don't know. I'd, I'd watch it again though. What are we going to do here? Hmm... I think I might do this in the order of I want to watch them in this moment. Like if somebody was like, hey, these are the three movies. Which one do you want to watch? I'm going to go with Drag Me to Hell. Then I'm going to go with Daredevil, actually. And then I'm going to go with Ferris Bueller. I've seen Ferris Bueller enough, probably, to where I feel like I don't want to watch it right now. Where I do want to rewatch this because it's been a while. And then I want to watch this because... Um, I just kind of want to revisit it, see how it holds up compared to a lot of the superhero movies that are out today. Um, is it terrible? Is it okay? Is it great in a new way because of how um, n not polished it is? You know, could be any of those things. And then Ferris, I'm going to put you at the end. Good movie. I would, I would watch you, but right now... I don't feel the need. So there we go. Drag Me to Hell, Daredevil, then Ferris Bueller's Day Off. My question to you is, have you seen these movies, these movies right here? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.